Uh, we're going to be looking at The Butterfly Garden, which is designed by Steve Finn. Uh, this is a prototype version we're going to be showing you, but uh, it's a game about uh, capturing butterflies and then going and releasing them into the garden for points. It's very pleasant and whimsical, so uh, I'm going to show you how it works. All of this artwork that you're going to see here is from you know a much earlier edition than uh, what is going to be up on the Kickstarter. Uh, so you'll have to bear with that, uh, noting that uh, all of the finalized artwork is much more attractive than what this version looks like. We are going to be uh, collecting butterflies and taking them to uh, the garden uh, to score victory points. Uh, now, in this prototype version, we will actually be taking them to a curator of museums. That's what you'll be seeing us do in uh, our gameplay footage. Um, but I know in the final version, you actually take them out into the garden and score points that way. So, uh, that's a minor change there. Uh, every player will have a personal net in this version and the final version, it's a jar. Um, they do the same thing. What you're going to be doing is taking butterflies, uh, as you play them and putting them into your net. And once you have a certain number of butterflies, you can cash them in to uh, appease this curator who wants um, any two butterflies. I would spend these two butterflies from my net and get this guy for points. Um, the goal of the game is to have the most points uh, and the end game will be triggered um, when someone hits a certain number of points depending on uh, the number of players playing the game. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do with setup is uh, take the numbers one through six, seven through 12, and 13 through 18, split them up into three piles, and shuffle each one up and give everybody playing the game a card from each pile. Um, if you do this, then you're going to have an even distribution of starting hands, which is much better than just randomly shuffling the butterflies all together and dealing them out because um, some butterflies are better than others, and someone could end up with a really powerful hand, someone could end up with a really weak hand, uh, if you don't take the time to set it up this way. I think this is a much more balanced way to approach it, and I really like this, and it doesn't take too much time to split them up this way. So, um, give everybody one card from each pile. Uh, if you're playing with fewer than six players, any remaining cards from that initial setup of the one through 18, you're gonna take and shuffle back into the deck with the rest of the butterflies. Once you've done this, everyone will have a hand of three cards, and for the most part, while you're playing the game, you will always have three cards in your hand. Uh, you'll play a card out onto the table, and then you'll pick up a card and put it back into your hand. Um, there are only certain instances where you uh, briefly have more than three or less than three, but you always, at the end of a round, end up with three cards. So um, everybody will have three cards. Uh, give everybody a net or a jar. And so what you're going to be trying to do in the game is you're going to be spending uh, butterflies from your uh, net or jar and doing that to uh, score victory points. Um, in my prototype version here, we have curator cards. Uh, you're going to deal out uh, one fewer than the number of players. So I'm setting up for a four player game. There'll be three out there. And then there'll be a fourth one on top of the deck uh, you can always see what the next card is going to be, but this one is not available for purchase in this round. Um, it will only be available once someone has purchased one or more of these cards, and at the end of the round they will refill back to this number. Um, in the final version of the game, these are garden cards, um, and so this whole thing about paying a museum curator is no longer a thing. Um, but they have the same functional purpose, which is they give you this number of victory points in the lower left corner, if you spend these types of butterflies uh, that they're asking for from your net or jar. And uh, the game will play to a certain victory point amount depending on the number of players playing the game. In a four player game, it's gonna be 40 victory points. Once someone hits 40 victory points, that will trigger the end of the game and that'll be the last round. Uh, so what this one is saying right here is that he wants any two butterflies. That's what the question mark means. And so if I had these two butterflies in my net on my turn, I could choose to discard these two butterflies and purchase this card. 
and I would score five points. Um, and then it would stay like this until the end of the round, and then this would come out and refill like that. What this guy is asking for is uh, four of a kind, and it's worth 10 points, which is the most it can ever be worth. Uh, the cards range from five to 10 points. Um, this guy's asking for a blue, orange, pink, and then any two other butterflies. And this guy's asking for a specific uh, four types of butterflies. Um, so those are the types of things you'll see in the uh, point scoring cards. So uh, on any given round of Butterfly Garden, what you're going to do is you're going to deal out a number of cards off the top of the deck equal to the number of players playing the game. And then you're going to have uh, a number of victory point cards, uh, which is one less than the number of people playing the game. So in a four-player game, we have four Butterfly cards dealt out and three, uh, in my version, curator cards. There'll be garden cards in the final version of the game. And you'll also be able to see what the uh, top card of the uh, victory point deck is for future rounds. Um, what's going to happen is everybody has a hand of three butterfly cards, and they are going to simultaneously choose one of those cards and play them uh, face down. So I've taken a card at random from each of the four hands I dealt out at the start of the game, and they're all going to play these simultaneously. Say that these are what the four players in the game decided to play. They reveal them simultaneously. 2, 12, 17, 15. Okay, so the number in the upper left corner determines play order for the round. So the player who played the 2 is going to get to choose first. What they're going to do is they're going to take this card and put it in their net or jar. And then they are going to select a butterfly from what's available out here and put it in their hand because they always have three butterfly cards in their hand. And then if they were able to, they would be able to purchase a uh, victory point card over here using the cards from their uh, net or jar. Uh, at the start of the game, in fact, the first couple rounds, it's unlikely that they'll be able to do that. So you can kind of fast forward through that section and kind of just make the game move a little bit faster. But in uh, future rounds, turn order is really important that you deal with picking a butterfly, putting uh, the card you played into your net, taking the card that you picked and putting it in your hand, and then resolving if you can purchase a card before moving on to the next person who played this 12, getting to take this card, putting it in their jar, selecting a card, and also getting to choose to purchase a curator or garden card. Uh, everybody's going to get a butterfly card. Uh, if any of these were purchased during the round, you would refill back to the number that you're supposed to have out there. And then you draw uh, more cards equal to the number of players playing the game for the next round. You'll keep doing that until one of three things happen because there are three ways the game could end. Uh, the most likely is if someone hits the target number of victory points, which varies depending on the number of people playing the game. In a four-player game, it's 40. Uh, the second way the game could be ended is if you make it through the deck of butterfly cards twice. Uh... That doesn't happen very often. Usually the game ends for me around just after we shuffle through the deck one time. Uh, the third way the game could end is if all of the curator cards are purchased and there's no more curator cards to put out. Um, at that point, you would just tally up who has the most points, and that's how the game ends. If at the end of the game there's a tie... It's going to first be uh, whoever has the most butterflies remaining in their uh, net or jar um, left over. If there's still a tie at that point, then it's going to be the number of butterflies in your hand on the cards. Um, so the person who has the most butterflies um, in their net and then in their hand would be the tiebreaker. When you're playing cards to your uh, net or jar, you can only have a maximum of eight butterflies in there at a time. Not eight butterfly cards, but eight butterflies. So you can see here that I've got seven, eight, I'm at the maximum. If I wanted to play this card into here, I would then have to discard a card out of there 
because there's a limit to how much I can have in my uh, net or jar. The game comes with butterflies that have special abilities on them. And for example, you've got, this is a, uh, these are wild butterflies that could count as any color butterfly or some victory point cards require the use of at least one uh, wild butterfly. There's a zero butterfly and what that means is it's going to go first, that's special power. And that's a pretty powerful thing to have later in the game when turn order really matters. Then you have these four special powers. Uh, I'm mostly certain the iconography has changed in the final version, uh, but the way these special powers work is uh, if you see these being dealt out onto the table, you're going to first bring them into your hand like you would any normal butterfly card, like if it were like this. And then on a future turn, you would play the card into your net, again, like you would any other butterfly card, and you would take whatever butterfly out from the table that you normally would, and then you resolve the special effect on the card. What this one is saying is you're going to draw a card off the top of the deck, and you're going to add it to your hand and temporarily have uh, four cards in your hand, and then you're going to choose one of the four cards in your hand and put it on the bottom of the deck. So that could potentially be really good or not so good if you already had a good hand to begin with. This one allows you to swap a card from your hand with a card in your net. This is situationally really good or really mediocre. Uh, it could be really awesome to set up a combo where you uh, keep pulling back a card into your hand that has a low number, say this one, and uh, keep swapping it with something in your hand so that you can keep playing this to continue being early in turn order. So this could be a really useful card if you figure out how to use it to your advantage. This card allows you to draw a card off the top of the deck and immediately add it to your uh, net or jar. And that's uh, pretty useful in terms of just getting free butterflies. Um, you don't know what's gonna be on top of the deck, so it might not be great because you, you know, you're getting something random, but it's a free card that you're just immediately adding to your uh, spending power. And that can be uh, huge if you happen to draw something with three butterflies on it or two wild butterflies, you could immediately spend those uh, for points. And so that's this is a really good card. It's counterbalanced by having a really high uh, number in turn order, so it's going to go last when uh, you're dealing t with turn order. Uh, the last uh, special card that I have in uh, at least my prototype version of the game is uh, this one, which is just worth three victory points, and um, the way this works is you would play it, you would pull it into your hand like you would any normal butterfly card, and then when you play it on a future turn, um, instead of it going to your net or jar, it's just going to give you three victory points and you kind of set it aside with your uh, any scored points that you've been scoring along the way, and that helps you keep it separate so that you know you can't use it to uh, purchase victory points. Um, so that's really it. It's a pretty simple and straightforward game. Uh, and I think it's probably easier to get a hang of it if you're watching people playing the game. So we're going to show you uh, gameplay footage of a uh, four-player game. And then we'll uh, talk about our final thoughts after that. You can also play this game two players, and it's going to be a little bit different. The only real difference is uh, the way you handle the victory point cards. Uh, you're going to deal out a card to either side of the pile, um, one facing one player, one facing the other. And what's going to happen is uh, when the two players uh, both play uh, butterflies simultaneously and they reveal them, uh, the person who plays a lower number has access to both of these cards. So if he wants to 
and has the ability to, on his turn, he can purchase either one of these. The person who plays the higher number butterfly card only has access to the victory point card on his side of the pile. Um, so this puts an extra emphasis on turn order in a two-player game. It means that uh, you're going to want to pay attention to what the other player is building towards. If it looks like they're going to buy their own card, then you might play a low number card to beat them out and uh, snatch that card before they can get access to it. Or if it looks like they're building towards being able to buy your card, then you might want to, again, pay attention to that so they don't snag the card, then you can't buy anything on your turn. So that's just the only uh, change in a two-player game, uh, so you're going to have only two uh, victory point cards out at a time, like that. So we're going to have number of butterflies come out equal to number of players in the game. We're doing a four-player game, so that's four butterflies come out. Oh, 56. And those are all pretty decent butterflies. Okay, so... Oh, you're going to rearrange gonna, this? I just okay. turn it around to match. Um, so, uh, we're all going to simultaneously select a card from our hands and play them, and whoever has the lowest number will get to pick a butterfly first, and it won't matter in the first couple turns, but the sequence is you get to pick a butterfly first, and then if you can buy a guy, you do that, and then it goes on to the next person. Um, so that's how turn order matters, not just for this, but also for that over there. And then 56 is the first one that, uh... Uh, has a power, and yeah. it is add one butterfly to your net. Straight off the top of the deck. Yeah, so whatever's on the top. Which is pretty good. Yep. Uh, okay. And it's wild, obviously, since it's multicolored. Okay. And reveal. Okay, well, you played your one, so you're first. Put that in your hand. Put that in your net. Yep, and give me the top card off the deck to go into my net. No, it will happen when you play the card. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. Um, Sorry. you're next. I'm crazy. Okay. 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 And we go again. So there is the That's one that is worth three just three points. Um, and that'll happen when you play the card, not when you take it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, uh, what do I want to do? Okay, well, that's three of a kind. So if I buy a curator, mm -hmm. then, you know, I give it my hand, then... You will discard the butterflies from your From nets. your net. So, so like, uh, right now you've got one pink, so if you had, like, a second pink... If you played anything else into your net, then you could discard yeah, the two for that guy. For the five. Okay. Um, if you played, like, uh, two pink, then you could claim this eight, because then you'd have three of a kind in your net, um, and you'd have to play two yellows, an orange, and a blue somehow to claim the other guy. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. I don't have a clue. I'm going to put this down. Hey oh All right. Last again. You oh, are, I'm first again? You are first. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to take just three points. Okay. Uh, put that in your net. Yep. Do you want to buy that fiver over there? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Discard these two to the discard over there to take the five points. Uh, that does not come out until the uh, next round. Yep. Uh, so that's you. So you have to take one of these. I am. Yep. What do you want? I know. I'm seeing those are all equals over there. Yes, this is three of a kind. And then this is going to be just any two butterflies. Like and why can I take doors. that one? You can oh. take any of these three. Okay. Yep. Goes in your hand. 
Yep. And then the orange one goes in your neck. Okay. Good job. That pretty orange butterfly for you. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, okay, so this guy comes out, and we can now see that the next guy is going to want a blue, orange, pink, and then any two other butterflies. Oh, 55. Get a free butterfly. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's always good. Yeah. Um, okay. What's 31's power? That one lets you uh, draw the... a card off the top of the deck and then take a card from your hand and put it on the bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah. So it might be good or it might be garbage. Um, okay, you are first. Um, that's me. Do you want to buy a guy? No. Okay. Do you want to buy a guy after you take that card? Take that card. Take yeah. the card. That card goes in your hand. Not quite. Well, it... Okay. Oh. This card that goes, goes in your hand. hand. Sorry. And okay. now that you could choose to spend that. these to buy a guy. Buy there any of want. those three guys. Well, I can't sure buy... Can't, yeah, you can't this, quite afford the guy. eight. But you can but. afford the eight with uh, your two wilds and then one of your two yeah. others... I'll take that eight. Yeah. Okay. And so then this. You just those. discard whatever set of three you are discarding. Yep. Okay. And victory dudes is, sits over. Yep. Just keep them anywhere so here. that you've got victory points. I, I don't know if that's going to be on camera. I'm not okay. really too worried Sorry. about it. Yeah. Trying to keep care. track of how many points you have. That's fine. We'll uh, total up later. So. That guy will come out. Yep. Um, usually, what I like to do is uh, kind of get a tally of what uh, people's scores are when I shuffle the deck the first time, just because that's about the point where you actually need to be worried about it. Um, okay. Oh, look at you. You're just ready to go. I need to consider my options. Um, Here, I thought we were going to run around with a net and catching butterflies. <laughs> You're basically running around with a net catching <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> put this one down. It's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I knew that was first. Um, I'm going to take this one. Ooh. You want to buy a guy? And I want to buy a guy. I want to buy this guy. Okay. Uh, you're next. Blue. Yep. I think I want this one. Okay. No, I want this one. Okay. Okay. Uh. I'm next. Uh, I will go ahead and take that. Yeah, I can't believe that uh, she has a specific yeah, yeah. in mind. I see That's what they're funny. doing, but uh, um, it was definitely surprising. You're just going to score those three points. Yep. I'm going to see if I can buy a person. I think I was going to be able to buy what he took, so uh, I can't buy a thing, and that's a tragedy. Okay, that's fine with me. Um, yeah. Code buy a thing. I could, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, we're not going to go there. Uh, all right. So 32 is another one that lets you... Uh, Draw a card off the top of the deck and then swap, swap something onto the bottom of the deck. And then uh, 35 uh, lets you... Swap... Uh, swap from your hand to your net. net. Yeah. Um, well... Pink, pink, green, orange. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This one down. Okay. Now last again. Not quite. All yeah. right. Your first. Can you buy a guy? Um. Or I, do you want to? I can, but I don't want to. Okay. Then you're next. Okay. 
And so when do we get to use our powers? Uh, it's when you're the powered. butterfly. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm about to use my power. So eight, I'm at okay. My, I am at my eight butterfly limit here. Um, I'm going to take this. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to probably buy that. Seems likely. Eight over there. Pink, green, uh, pink, orange. Yep. There you go. That way. Uh, I take this. And give me the top thing. It's really annoying that you keep getting that. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, can I... I could buy a five again. Yeah. It's super good. It's not bad. For the being... card that you play, is that counted immediately for purchasing people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you, whatever, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Just um, um, yeah I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, play those, Fast points. Play those two. You just grab five points. All right. Two so new guys are coming out. Bad. Oh man. Another fiver and this nine. Okay. Is that green under the chartreuse? Mm -hmm. Chartreuse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> it's the yellowish. Under this yellow one. Yes, under this yellow butterfly, there is a green butterfly. It is more the shade of chartreuse. <laughs> Thank you very much, which is a yellow green. Okay. Uh, I. <sighs> okay. I think I still know what I want to do. Oh, let's see. Put this bad boy down. I'm gonna do. Oh no, I don't want to do that right now. I'm gonna put that one down. Reveal! Uh, you're first. Alright, so I want to take a butterfly from my net. Yes. And put it in your hand and then take something from your hand, hand and put it. This would happen f first. Like, you get to pick one of these butterflies. Oh, like, sorry. No, no, no. It's like, just so it gives Sequence you more. Things. Gives um, you a better idea of what you're going to end up with. Yeah. Okay, so what do I want to pick? Totally just. Well, like, for example, you could take this and then just put three points into your net directly. Oh. Okay. As you're with your special power. Could do... No, I want this one. Okay. Oh, no, I do want this one. You're right. Because this goes here. And... <laughs> no, I... do you want to buy someone? I want to buy that eight. So that's a blue... A blue, orange, and, and two, two yellows. Yep. Okay. 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 And, and then where's the discard pile? Sort of okay. And you did your special power thing and still have three cards in your hand? I have, yeah. Yep. Okay, you're good then. Uh, all right, I am next. I just get three points. Oh, and... this just goes here, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, no, that's still in your hand right now. Oh, it's Once still... you play it, it'll be worth three points. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, yep. And I'm taking one of these. Probably took the guy I was going to try to score, so let's figure something else out. <laughs> uh, okay... Um, looking good. Looking good. Uh, this is better for what I'm doing. Okay. Then that's nope, you. not buying a guy. But it's in your hand. Right, yep. And then I get the top card off the deck. You do. Shot Did you get all three of those? Uh, I've gotten two of the three that have come out. Right. Um, <clears throat> Sean really dislikes that I seem to always collect the... Uh, do you want to buy that five since place. you love doing that? I do really like grabbing fives. Um, and it is like a freebie, but I think I'm going to hold up. Okay. And that guy's going to come out. He wants at least one wild butterfly. Yep. Uh, Okay. Um, orange, blue, blue. Everything in my net is not helpful for what I'm trying to accomplish.
It hasn't been nearly as lucrative this time, though, because I haven't drawn a whole bunch of three butterflies. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> first. <laughs> Look at all you guys going first. <laughs> it's like, I'm going first. Well, I mean, I just... That's fine. All right. Uh, do you want to purchase a... Yeah. It seems very likely that you are all attempting to get in on some purchase action. You're next. Oh, yeah, you are next. Yep. Okay. And Burns playing a six and still being third. <laughs> okay. That goes into your hand. Right. Yep. How many times are you going to have to say that to me during this? It, it's You know, it's a thing that... The first time you play this game, it's really easy to make that mistake. Yeah. Um, you are getting that 25-er. Yep. And then I exchange a card from my hand. You draw a card, card off the top of the deck. Oh, the, yeah, you're right. That's that one. Sorry. And now you put something on the bottom of the deck. That's right. I thought that it was the other one for some reason, because I'm crazy. Uh, and then you're going to decide if you want to buy... Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. Um, I'm going to send this one to the bottom of the deck. Okay. And then... One, two, three, four, five butterflies. <laughs> uh, two new dudes come out. I had a plan, Rob. I know you did. <laughs> This guy's kind of close to that plan. I know. Okay, so what's uh -oh. going on with that number nine? This guy is okay. two pairs. Okay, he needs two pairs? Yep. Mm -hmm. Dang, I went with the wrong butterfly set. Decisions were made and... <laughs> I know. They were a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> Such is the way. <laughs> um, all right. All right. Let's see. Oh. Get into that seven land. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. First. Uh, I might take that seven just so you don't get to take that seven. <laughs> um, I actually don't really think I care about it so much. I wants to snag the two wilds. The two wilds is really good. Um, I'm going to buy uh, something uh, to pair with those. I had to burn an extra butterfly for it, but that's fine. Yep. I'm um, 36. Yep. So I take a butterfly. Take a butterfly, and then you will... Um, that goes into your net, and then you will get to take something from your hand mm -hmm. and swap it with something in your net. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take. Yep. That. And that includes. Yeah. That. Yep. Yeah, okay. So you can just keep chaining that. Hey. Yeah. Could do that. Um. What do I want to do now? I'm going to Not yeah. big seven do still that. out there. I know. And I'm going to purchase mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it's good. me. Yep. I don't think I'm doing horrible. I guess I'm going to go ahead and take the seven. This is yours. Neither yeah. of those is. Um, exciting. Just yes. draw no more people and just we'll keep going. Curators. So we can only have eight butterflies in our net. Yep. Okay, so what am I looking at over there? Uh, a there's pair? a pair. There's a wild and anything, and there's two blue, an orange, and a yellow. And I don't think I'm situated well for any of those things. Yeah, neither am I. So, no. uh, yeah, this is going to be a kind of a wash. Hmm. Sure. Hey! 
Hey yo. You're first. Oh man. Uh okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Let's see, that gives me five, two yellow, two blue, and a green, which is useless. Um I'm gonna go ahead and grab the two wild. Do you want to buy a guy? No. Okay. And I will grab that, which goes there, which I trade for that, which I can then purchase this guy. Okay. Uh, the three points just goes over here. Yep. Can you or do you want to buy one of those two sixes? Um, I don't know. A oh, pair and a pair. purchase the two pair. The pair. You would have to just dis discard that three butterfly card yeah. to do it, though. Which hurts. You lose, you know, the orange and the yellow don't count for anything. I know. So it's a tough choice. Let's do it. Okay. Right. Let's be bold. Hey, you know. Fortune favors the bold. Uh, I am n n not going to take that six. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay, the zero is obviously the fastest card in the game. That's oh, a special power. Uh, as much as it is a special power, not just being number zero. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I should have done that. That's fine. Okay. Um, um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, go. Boom. Well, you're first. Boom. All right, you're excited about. It. Do you want to do a thing with your butterflies? Um, Before she gets excited and skips your turn. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, you can do that. Like, like you can't do anything. I about can't that, really but... do anything. So yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Zero. Yeah. All right. I wonder who's gonna go first next round. Check that. I will take. Uh, the 10. And I will swap. Draw a card and swap. Them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just dump that back in the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, can I? Will I? I will. Boom. Yeah, I was sure you were going to do that. Well. There, swap it for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. One, two, three, four. We've made it through the deck one time, so uh, after this round, I'll tell everybody to count up their points and see where we're at with that. Uh, okay. I've got nothing in my net. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Put some uh, butterflies down. Oh, I see why I shouldn't have maybe necessarily gone. I've... Sorry. No worries. There are lots of important decisions to be made in the butterfly garden. That's <laughs> true. Okay. First. Zero. Oh, man. <laughs> Real important. Go. Yeah. <laughs> what was so important? What did you need to do? I think she just wanted to buy the, like the six card, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna um... buy the six card. Here you go. <laughs> uh, do you want to buy that six card or the other six card? You could buy either one. Oh, that's of those true. Two uh, that's a wild one. Okay, yeah, the one wild. Make it a little bit difficult on everyone else. Huh? Because it's harder for it's everyone, harder else, for everyone to else to get a pair. A pair. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. then, so those six are... Um, yes. Well, this one. And I'm not going to purchase anything. Okay. Well, I. K. 
can't buy anything, but I'll take this three, so I'm super fast. So now I know that zero's been played. Uh, <laughs> 28. This comes in. I forget, in. I don't actually strategize, I just play. One, two, That's three, fine. Four, five, six. I get the top card off the you deck. You can't really strategize when you're catching. And oh, butterflies. you didn't. Oh, five, sorry. It's 10. That's fine. Yeah. Hmm? No, no, don't worry about it. I was, I was kind of talking to myself. Okay. Uh, top card. Yeah. There's no top card right now because no. we need to shuffle okay. the discard pile. So, okay. uh, everybody, look at uh, how many points you have right now while we're uh, dealing with this kind of nonsense over here. This is a bit unseemly at the moment. Uh, pull those, pull two new dudes out, no. curators, and yeah. we're almost out of curators too, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Well, two more. We'll see where we are. Yep. Thirty-one. Well, that's good. I only have 32. Only 32. Let's see. Well, I was just saying, like, you're not way behind. You know. 29. Like. Um, okay, well. Top card for me. Yeah, you get that. Enjoy it. Burns. Yep, it does. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay, what am I looking at? Alright. Wow. Work for me, little butterfly. Work for me. Uh, I'm gonna play. No, no, no. Not helpful. I can't get the combination I want. Yeah. At all. Okay. You first. Yep. What do you want? Okay. Are you going to purchase something? I don't think she can. I can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, thirty-six. Mm -hmm. Purchasing. He's swapping first. Oh, yeah. Now he can purchase. Boom. Like that. Yep. Oh, those are discarded. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, get all those butterflies just doing nothing. Uh, and it doesn't matter because I buy this guy and have 40. That was my plan. Well, I guess I'm going to buy this six. Well, since you skipped my <laughs> turn, didn't let me... Sorry, I looked and saw you could not do it, so... I could do that. I could have bought that and one. And so that's the... That'll be the point limit. No, I meant this one. So uh, that's Rob one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He, that, okay. It triggers the end of the game, and then we tally up our scores, and since we know that he had 32, he's at 40, and no one else hit 40, so he clearly won. Yeah. Um, 35... But it was tight. I'm at 31. Yeah. Josh should also be at 31, I think. Yeah. Right? Um, I don't know. Unless you did your math wrong I before. I have done my math wrong Eight. before. <laughs> <laughs> he really won. He got 40. Yeah. Did yes. he? What? Yes. Oh, son of a... He well. so did. Okay, yeah. well... <laughs> Disregard that last turn then because you. Well, no, you got 40 because you bought that card. And I bought he, the card and then he bought he the card. He also bought a card. To bring so, the, what happens. Yeah, because we finished the round, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, you finish the round. What happens is the, the tiebreaker is um, uh, cards in your nets, but neither of you have cards <laughs> remaining in your net. <laughs> so, um, I have to look it up. Uh, it, you might. It might be like cards in your hand. Um, I would think it would be like the number of some kind of card. I don't know, like number of curators or, but I don't know. I was thinking when you said 21, I'm like. Uh, yeah, when he said 21, I was like, what? wow. 
I, I didn't realize well, I, that I, he was that far behind. Apparently one of my, the them was attacked like underneath the other one, and sure. I didn't realize that. Second tiebreaker. <laughs> like the nine was underneath. Was stuck to the five. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So the second tiebreaker is the most butterflies remaining in your hand, meaning number of butterflies on the cards in your hand. Five. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, then, Play butterfly garden again. Yeah, like you guys. <laughs> longest hair. You guys are exactly tied for being really good. The at only other thing garden. that could be a thing would be like number, number of curators, curators which, which you would win five. Oh, and then you have, I have five, five curators, curators and one also. butterfly. I do not have any butterflies. I mean, so like, that is the only way in which we differ whatsoever, that I have one butterfly. I think, I think you should just, you know, have a, the positive spirit of feeling like you both... We both won! Huzzah! You learned that friendship was more important. <laughs> While we were catching butterflies together in the garden. And there you have it. Um... 40, 40, 35, 32. Well, that was great. That was a really good game. I still managed to lose. You know? But. It was super tight. Yeah. Like, and if you hadn't bought that card, I exactly, was getting ready like, to buy that card. Any of us in the next turn would have had 40. I'll mention real quick that if uh, at any point during my introduction of this, I mixed up like the words like net and jar and um, victory points being the curator and the garden... It's because of the differences between my prototype version and the final version. I tried to catch myself whenever I could and, you know, get it right, but um, I, I'm sure at some point I might have mixed it up and said the wrong thing at one point, so... Um, I hope that, like, watching the gameplay footage, it's really clear how the game functions, and it's all pretty self-evident if you see someone doing it, rather than me talking about it and kind of mixing up my words and sounding like an idiot. So I just wanted to throw that in there. How do you feel about that garden of butterflies? Um, so I like our other, the full disclosure thing we have to do right here is that uh, I play tested this game. Yep. Um, uh, I, uh, Stephen put out a message saying he was looking for people specifically to try it out um, with the five and six player account um, to make sure it was flowing smoothly and I requested to um, get the files printed out. Um, so that was back in November mm -hmm. uh, and I play tested it a few times and reported back each time. Um, uh, so I have played this with all the player counts. Um, I played it with, uh, I consider it sort of a diverse group of um, players. Yeah, from people that play a lot of games and people who play very few games. Right, like to the point where like I literally walked up to people and said, hey, would you be interested in trying out a game? You know, help me out with this because I'm trying to get, you know, try it out with people who don't have any experience with games and see what their reactions to it were. Yeah. Because I, that's sort of the target audience for the game is this entry level, mm -hmm. um, sort of like love letter, um, that niche of being in a game that's easy to teach. It's quick and simple, but, uh, has a level of strategy that keeps people interested who, um, no games. Sure. Um, I can honestly say that of I've played it nine times now, and n no person that I played it with disliked the game. Uh, everyone always seems to be pretty like the the most n negative thing about it is I I had a hard time convincing a few people to play it because it was about butterflies, like that's and really if you have people who like are not yeah yeah yeah. Like, I'm not going to play a game about butterflies. It's like, okay, then you can just... You know what? You can leave. <laughs> um, so, in my mind, this game does exactly what um, the designer set out to do. He wanted to make a game that was fast and easy to teach and strategic, and I really like this game. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I wanted to be clear that I like this game because I like this game and not because it's something that I you know, played some minor role in the uh, playtesting um, sure. portion of things. Uh, 
So, uh, do you have anything you want to say about it? you? You've only played it like twice. I think maybe three times. I don't know. Two or three times. Um, I agree with everything you said. Like it, it does exactly what I think it's meant to do. Um, it's a little bit like neither of us like filler games, but I wouldn't really call it a filler game. Like it's got just a little bit more depth than that. Um, so it crosses over into a place where it's not a filler game, so I don't dislike it on that grounds. Um, there, there's just enough going on there that I, that there's enough for me to like in it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that it flows really smoothly, uh, the... Artwork, even the artwork on this version, our that, super early prototype. Yeah, the yeah. super early prototype. I even like the artwork on this, and would have been fine with it more or less as what was going to be the final product. Um, um, even even at this stage, I don't know if anybody could have seen it with the way we had our camera set up, but the uh, cards are uh, uh, there are symbols on the colors of cards because for uh, if you have color, color blindness. blindness. Yeah, uh, I thought that was a really nice, really, touch. really, uh, really smart yeah. design. Um, um, but, you know, the, the version that's on the Kickstarter, the art is just so much better even yeah. than this art that I already thought was good, um, that I'm really happy about the artwork. You know, I, I can't say anything negative about this, actually. Right, like, the only comments I got from more gamers that played it was this idea of they wanted to the ability to interact with what was going on in sure. other people's um, nets mm -hmm. jars now to have more um, of a uh, more of a confrontational yeah um, gameplay. I think you could probably if uh, a stretch goal doesn't happen with adding cards that do something like that. Um, I think you could probably house rule it in some way if you wanted to play the game that way. I respect um, the designer's decision to keep that element out of it because I think. Um, the the target audience he's going for is um, he doesn't he didn't want it to be something that would sort of drive people away. And yeah, I agree with it. Um, yeah, it's a very pleasant, lighthearted, friendly game. Yeah, um, and you know you're just like we're gonna go catch some butterflies and get points. Yeah, like, that's that's it. Um, yeah, I I don't personally have anything bad to say about the game i really do support it mm -hmm. um i i am interested to see what um additional concepts he um came up with in terms of like uh i noticed he said a thing about event cards yeah um, i'm curious about the event cards i would be too. i would be concerned if they would throw off the balance of the games i think it's very well balanced as is mm-hmm um, the thing with the lower numbered cards being, um, faster, um, in turn order speaking, but being like weaker cards and the inverse being true that like the high number cards come out slower, but tend to be better cards. Um, I think it's very well done. And, uh, most games I've played have been pretty close scoring wise too, which is mm -hmm. another mark of a well-balanced. Yeah. Game. I think the only game that wasn't was the two player our, game. Our right? two player game yeah. where that was an earlier version of it, where when you got the special power of uh, 55 through 57, you would reenact the uh, special power of another. Card no, that was right well. after that change. Oh, okay. that was right after that changed. So, um, um but yeah, that just something about the two player game didn't seem to work as well for us when we were playing it. Um, I applaud that it does play slightly differently with two players. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I would prefer to play it. Um, I, I mentioned that I play with all player accounts. I would prefer to play it with four. Um, mm -hmm. It worked just fine with five and six, but you do have a bit. It's a bit harder to predict what's going to happen with six people all putting down a card at the same time. And yeah. Like, oh, now I have to make a different decision about what I was doing. Yeah. Um, whereas with four players, it's not hard to have like a plan B. Mm -hmm. um, all in all, I think it's a great game. Uh, I know that's not going to be expensive. 
um, comparative to other games of that sort of uh, depth for how much they would cost. You know, sort of like that Sushi Go is like a cheap filler yeah, sure. introductory type game. Um, and Love Letter we've already mentioned. Uh, I would rather play this game than either of those two games. Um, and I guess I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, which I don't think I would give that high of a rating to any other filler game. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, I'm thinking like really hard, and I think that's something I typically reserve for more like actual board games. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I really do like this game. Yeah. And I really hope it does well in the Kickstarter. Yeah, I do too. Um, so there you go. That is Butterfly Garden. Uh, it's on Kickstarter, and if you are interested in it, go check it out. I don't have any, like, butterfly jokes to make. Yeah, I don't know. I could do a monarch thing, but that's it. I could talk about Cocoon. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>